So when we think of a PhD as the entrance qualification into the world of professional academia, then it means that it's basically the bottom level of this new system. So it's not the pinnacle of the education system. It's not um, simply a continuation of school and university and then this, the PhD, is kind of the ultimate thing. No, it's a beginner's qualification for those entering professional academia. And this is an important distinction because most people who come into a PhD have done very well at all the previous levels of the education system. So you've got good grades all the way through from elementary school all the way through to university and then, you know, um, the people who do that, the people who get those good grades, some of them go on to do a PhD. But the skills that got you there are not the same skills that you need in order to do well in professional academia. So it's not about um, being able to study for an exam, it's about being able to conduct your own research, which is a very, very, very different thing. So there are a number of key differences between being a student and being an academic. Um, if you're a student, generally speaking, uh, like an undergraduate student, you have a set syllabus to follow. And you also have a timetable to follow. So you have certain lectures at certain times, the exam is on a certain date, and as long as you show up and you do the work that you're told to do, you remember the things that you're taught, then you do okay. When you look at a PhD, you have no syllabus and you don't have a timetable. You might have some deadlines for, say, a first year report or an upgrade report or whatever, but you don't have that syllabus and that timetable to follow. It's on you to structure the work. Um, you also, uh, as an undergraduate student, you have a standardized exam. So everybody in your class does the same thing. Whereas at PhD level, you have to determine what you're going to be examined on by choosing your project and choosing what to do. So the examiner doesn't have this predetermined list of expectations. They judge your work based on what you say you're going to do in the introduction to your thesis. And it's a very, very, very different thing. Um, also, if you want to do well as an undergraduate student, you just have to beat your classmates. You have local competition. So um, you have a bunch of people going to the same classes, they do the same exam, and you, you, know, you can um, rank you know, according to you know, where you are among your, among your classmates. At PhD level, your competition is no longer local. What you're trying to do if you're trying to make a contribution to the field is to do something that can compete on a global level. So your work is then judged against what already exists in the field. So you have to do something that hasn't been done before. You have to do something that is comparable um, on a sort of professional academic level with other work which is being done in the field. So um, what has already been done often helps to determine the standard that you have to reach. So if you're in a very well-developed field where you know, there's a lot of standardized techniques and something's very easy, you know, or considered easy within the field, you have to be good at that, right? Whereas if you're doing something which nobody's really done before, you know, any contribution that you make is going to be of value because you're the first one to really, to really look at it. So you've got this kind of global competition situation um, which, you have to, which you have to consider. So um, a lot of students get very stressed because they've done so well throughout the education system and then they get to PhD level and get stuck because of these fundamental differences in the way the system works. And one of the most important things you can do is develop that understanding as early as possible of what habits you can keep from your student days and what habits you need to change in order to make that transition from being a student to being an academic. Um, and, you know, until you get past that, it's very, very hard to get past any of the stress or sort out any of the problems that arise in a PhD.